Welcome to Stock Talk. This is your host, Scott. Hope you had a good uh, rest of your week in trading last week and today. Uh, market down a little bit today, so we're having a red day as far as the portfolio goes today. We did a lot of selling last week, uh, trying to build that cash position back up. Uh, we were able to do that, get the cash position up to about 42%. Uh, so we're glad about that. Made some good trades. We'll talk about those as we look at our portfolio and kind of talk about what we're going to try to do from this point forward with the market. And uh, so we're in midday still. Uh, it's a 145, so the market's still open. But we'll go ahead and look at our portfolio and uh, kind of see what's going on today and talk about our trades from uh, the end of last week. All right, so let's go over to there. And here is our portfolio, as you can see. Uh, we've got a good bit of red out there today. Pretty much on everything except for maybe it looks like about five different ones uh, so let's just kind of go over those uh, we'll talk about these uh, most a lot of these have been sold uh, we don't hold them right now so uh, but we'll talk about that ARK X one of the ones we sold last week uh, we had that one for about a week and uh, we actually sold that and and made about two and a half percent on the week uh, this is probably one I, I probably won't get back into this one. I didn't like the way it moved. Uh, I did like this one, the ARKK. Uh, again, these are both handled by ARK uh, as far as the uh, company and this Kathy Wood. This is ARK Innovation ETF, and uh, I like this one. I like the way it, it ran uh, when, when the NASDAQ was doing good. Uh, so today you can see here, we got the S&P that's down, we got the Dow that's down, we got the NASDAQ that's down. And so these are going to be down on those days when those are done. We did look last week a little bit at the holdings on this one. Let's take a look at that again on a reminder of these. But we did sell this one. Uh, we sold this one for an 8% gain. Uh, we had it for actually eight days, so that's not a bad return. Um, eight days for 8%. Good size stake in it that we sold to had it across two two of the IRAs. Uh, so you can see forty six percent of the holdings are these top ten holdings here, and you can see what what we got here is Tesla, Roku, Square, uh, Teladoc, Baidu, uh, Spotify, Zillow, and several others. There is Zoom, one that everybody's been using during the COVID thing. So, uh, but that's uh, the big holder here is Tesla. And so really surprised that this is not green today because Tesla was doing so well earlier. But as you can see here, it's a, it's down today, just barely though. Uh, this one I will get back in as soon as I can. I like the way it acted, uh, like the way it traded. Of course, 8%, who wouldn't like that uh, in eight days? Uh, nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, so be looking for that. Well, we did sell, all these sales were last Thursday the 8th. And so you can see Thursday was a pretty good day, and that's why we started unloading these. Uh, the reason I did that is because uh, usually, you know, normally a Friday is a sell-off day. And uh, sure enough, that's exactly what we saw Friday, okay? And we're even into it on Monday today, so uh, it is coming back a little bit. So may grab some more of this if it gets back down in this area again. And maybe I'm just kind of not in a hurry to get back, that, get that cash working again we just kind of want to we got a few that a couple of other ones that we want to try to get sold before we start buying again uh, so that's kind of my game plan try to sell some more one of those i'd like to sell is this mstr this is probably the that next one that will get sold um it actually could we could have, we were probably in the green uh this morning for a little bit because it did go all the way up to 745.88 as you can see here the spike this morning uh, but uh, right now it's pulled back. It's actually in the red. This is uh, micro strategies. It's it's kind of tied into the Bitcoin because they have all their treasury in Bitcoin, and they've actually went and borrowed money to buy Bitcoin. So uh, it's I'm surprised though it's not doing too good today. Uh, Bitcoin had a pretty good weekend. Uh, I saw it hit sixty one sixty uh, this past weekend. I don't know know what it is right this second. But uh, you can see here, uh, there's a little upward trend the last couple of days or so, Thursday, Friday, and now even Monday, uh, even though it looks like a little downward trend since Friday. 
but uh, I have confidence in this one as long as Bitcoin Bitcoin looks like it's trying to break out and if it breaks out this one's going to do well especially on the days that no, uh, the NASDAQ is doing good so I'm holding off on that that's one of the ones I want to get sold it's a pretty good stake in that one so we want to get that one sold this one Apple we did sell last week as well uh, three week hold on that the, the oldest ones we had were three weeks old and uh, we actually uh, pocketed a seven and a half percent gain on that one so some really good pockets last week sideline you know we, we usually shoot for six and we beat that on every one of them uh, except for the ARK X but uh, just to take a look at uh, Apple here you can see the nice upward trend and then last Thursday we sold we should have held that one at least one more day because Friday it did very well uh, but we you know we we did okay uh, we, we made a, a seven and a half percent three weeks I'm not going to argue with that but that is a, a good one to get back into as soon as it gets back down to these areas here uh, that's probably where I'll start buying it just depends again I want to get a couple other things sold uh, the MSTR being one of them and of course, Novavax would like to cash in on that one. All right, Square. Square was our best one last week that we cashed in. Uh, again, three weeks or less on this one, and we we uh, we cashed in on a fifteen percent gain uh, in three weeks, and that was a good little stake. And this one's still doing well. So uh, even though we're out early on it, it's uh, you know it's still a good game. You take that fifteen percent and you run. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I take that 15% in three weeks anytime and not look back. And that's just the, that's just the uh, attitude that I have as far as being retired. I'm not going to sit there and sweat every little percent that I miss out on. Uh, it, it is what it is. And uh, I'm just happy to get that 15% in three weeks. Tesla. Tesla, another one we cashed in on uh, and, and a, a good stake on that one. Um, really good stake on that one across all three accounts uh, and we cashed in on seven and a half percent again seven and a half percent in three weeks we're thrilled with that anytime we can get that now they did have an upgrade today so uh, that's one reason they're up today uh, and you know so we, we sold Thursday about in this area here somewhere up in here I forget what the exact price was but uh, it ended up being a seven and a half percent gain. I actually sold half of my holdings, and then the last bit I uh, sold out of one account um, uh, in after hours, got just a little bit more. But uh, seven and a half percent total gain across all three accounts on Tesla. Uh, so we're we're waiting for that one to come back down. Uh, let's take a look and see what maybe levels we might be interested in. That would definitely be a good level. That six hundred level again. Uh, I'm not sure how often it's getting there. Yes, yeah, six, eleven, six, ten, and if you can get that level there, you'd be lucky. But I'd sure jump on that for sure. Uh, but that six ten level looks like a good spot if we can get there. But it may not go back. And if it doesn't, you know, good luck to all you holding the Tesla. <laughs> but uh, I won't be getting in it right now. Uh, doesn't mean I won't get in at some higher, even higher level. Sometimes I'll do that just depending on the trend and uh, what the outlook is and that kind of thing. So it doesn't always mean I'm out of it forever. I just like to try to get it at better points. Uh, U.S. Steel, uh, again, this one's getting in close to the high range. Uh, you probably could start nibbling today. I, you know, I could, uh, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to be a little bit more patient. But... Uh, $20 level, I'll probably be all over this one. So hopefully we can get us another down day tomorrow on that. You see the five day, we got a pretty good little downtrend going. Look at the one month. It's trying to get back down to these levels here. That's that 2010 level. And then you get right here to 1930. So any any of these kind of levels here, 2010, 2012, and then you got this 1930. If you got lucky and got that. Uh, and then some of these here. You know, you start looking at this 17, if you can get anything like that, uh, if I can get anything like that, I'm going to be all over. Everybody has to make up their own mind what to do uh, and when to do it, but that's what I do. I, I'm definitely going to be probably nibbling at 20. So if we get another dollar down, it did get down to 20.90 today. 
uh, but it's just a tad off and uh, you know I will get we'll get into that uh, PayPal uh, PayPal another one we sold last week seven percent gain with it for three weeks uh, so another one we cashed in on all these Nasdaq stocks uh, we were able to cash in on last week you can see the nice trend and PayPal still going up uh, this has been a really good one uh, coming up you can see this look at this trend here that's a nice upward trend and uh, you know that's but we took it we took our we took our winnings nothing wrong with taking your winnings and uh, being happy about it so seven percent three weeks that's better than a CD that's better than a bank account better than a lot of, a lot of things uh, we are doing well as far as the portfolio goes this year because of what we cashed in last week uh, back closer to where I wanted to be. Uh, not sure if we've beaten all the markets because the markets have been really good, uh, but I think we're still beating uh, S&P and uh, the NASDAQ. All right. Not sure about the Dow because the Dow's been doing rather well. Okay. So uh, HUT MF, HUT MF, we're still holding that one. Uh, that's a Bitcoin miner. Again, it kind of uh, jumped up this morning and kind of sold off, but uh, it's going to go around with Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin has a breakout, watch for that one to have a breakout as well. So we're still holding that. We'll be holding that one until it does. Uh, probably, I think we're, we need about $9 or something on that one. We'll be steady and hold on that one. Novavax, this is the one we're just waiting on news. Got a good size stake on this one across all three accounts. So this is the one we really, uh, have a lot of confidence in it uh, and uh, really think it's going to be, you know, when the news comes out, we're probably going to be in that 230, 240 range pretty quick. Like, uh, I hope, I hope uh, we're down a good ways on it right now. We're down a good uh, 13, 14%, I believe. Uh, don't want to add any more. I've got too much of it now or enough. Let's put it that way. Uh, don't want to, uh, don't want to push my luck there. Don't want to get greedy. Uh, and and don't want to tie up the cash either. I like to have it cash free and ready to go. Uh, Virgin Galactic Holdings, or sp I like to call it Space. Uh, uh, this was this one's been a disappointment. It's been going down. It's on a downward slope. Doesn't seem to know where to stop. So we're just going to, have to grit our teeth and bear that one for the right now. It's, sometimes these end up being, you know, one of your two-year holds that's just what happens uh, sh you can see we got a little green on that today uh, 0.15 S&P is down 0.20 so that's reacting just like it should this is a short of the S&P so uh, to be a perfect short it would be 0 0.20 uh, right now it's a little only 0.15 so they're not always a one for one match that's okay as long as it does what it's supposed to do, there it goes. It just went to the point one nine. All right. So Tilray, Tilray's something's going on today with the pot stocks. I saw some other ones that were down pretty good ways too. So, uh, you know, if if I wasn't so bad into that one on that high buy that I bought, which was terrible chase uh, that I did, I'm talking about right here the spike. <laughs> I think I'm in at sixty six actually. So. And it hit the high of 67. So that's not a good place to be. So this is probably a two-year hold at least. I, but again, if you go look at the, our portfolio this year and what we've sold, Tilray was one of the biggest winners that we've had. But we had to hold it two years the last time around too. But we bought some as high as, and the last time was high as $155, I think it was, was and then $85. And then I cost averaged that down and got it down to 24. So we ended up making some really good money on it. But, we chased it again too after we sold out of it, and uh, we ended up. Thank goodness we only chased it in one account, because that's that's a that's a that's a lot of money that we've got tied up right now in that one, and it's not going to be helping us anytime soon. But you know, got to you got to put the back burner and just not worry about them. Uh, and this is another one of those, which is good stake. We've got a good size stake on this one uh, that we're just going to be sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting. Uh, I did do a little research on it today just to see if I could see anything that might be causing it just to keep going down other than the fact that it's just, you know, no news. It's 
no good news. Uh, and so when you have a stock that's out of favor like this, um, then you've got, you got a downward trend for sure. So what we've got here is uh, the issue, you know, I like to talk about is the stock broke, is the company broke, is, is the market broke. Uh, and, and, and in this case, I think uh, we're getting a little dose of all three uh, on this one. The market's been broken for the NASDAQ. When, when it heads down, this is going to go down. Uh, the stock itself has not been doing well, and the company itself is not doing well. So this is not one I'd, you know, think I'd be wanting to buy right now, even though, you know, if it does come back, you got in at a real good price. But uh, this is one I'd be afraid to buy. Let's put it that way. I'd be af I'm afraid to add to it. Uh, I'm not going to cost average anymore. Uh, you know, down the road, you might look at it and think, well, I should have, and I would have been green by now. But you can see this here, the average volume, 13 million. Uh, day's almost over, so it's going to have about normal volume. That's the good thing. But this six and eight and five and seven percent every time you turn around, it's it's just slowly, slowly just eating this one up. See here, this is a downward slope if I've ever seen one. Nothing but a downward slope. So, uh, but let's take a look at the one-year chart. You see the one-year chart here. You're just now getting back down to the one-year, one-year. OK, so as bad as everything looks, you're just now getting to the one year start of the, you know, the past year. So if you go back a whole year, this is about where the price price was. So what you got is a flat stock and not this stock that's down 30 percent or 40 percent like what I'm holding. <laughs> OK, so that's that's the way it goes. Uh, you can, you know, if you buy up in here and it goes down here, it feels really bad. But if you look a year back, you're looking at a flat stock. So sometimes it helps to go and get a perspective. Uh, and you can see this here again. Uh, you actually are up a tad. If you look at that line, it goes all the way across. It's actually up a tad from where it had started. So that's the way you look at those things sometimes. So you're not sitting here sick as a dog. But uh, <laughs> uh, whatever you do to, you know, to make you get over those downward trends is what you got to do. Um, but what I'm what I'm trying to do is really get cashed in on on that MSTR especially, uh, or at least Novavax. One of those two. If I get cashed in on one of those two, we'll probably be back up to about 50, 60 percent cash. And uh, if we if we get up to that back up to that level of cash, definitely be buying some stuff. Uh, now, if X hits if X hits a dollar down tomorrow. Uh, I'll probably be buying some of that, start nibbling on that, because uh, I don't think that would tie up the cash very long. Where that the way that one's turned and gone back up to twenty four level, uh, so that's one thing I will go ahead and buy is is the U.S. steel. Um, other than that, I mean, I'm just going to try to cash in on some things still, uh, and the only ones really right now that I think is going to be cash cashing in, it's going to be something like STR. The other ones are so far out of favor right now, it's going to be a while before we ever cash in on those. Uh, could be a, a year from now. But um, those two are definitely two that we could, we could cash in. Even though we're far down on Novavax, um, the news will pop it up and we'll be back in the green on it pretty soon. Uh, so that's where we're at. Watch those two real close. That's the two that's going to matter for the portfolio. Uh, we'll take these other ones off the portfolio for now, but if we add them back in, we'll get we'll get them back on there. And we'll just kind of shrink that up a little bit. All right. So have a great rest of your day of trading, and uh, hopefully, uh, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and do that. Click that subscribe button. There should be a button that comes up uh, right over here in just a minute, and click on that. And uh, love to have you as, as as a subscriber. Don't forget to like the video as well if you like the videos. And we'll talk to you later in the week, probably either a Friday afternoon or maybe uh, probably uh, maybe Saturday or Sunday. Okay. Thanks. And have a great rest of your day. Bye.